Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to create this freaking beauty. Look at this, so sexy, so beautiful. Doesn't it just turn you on? Well, it is the sex of the beach after all. Let me give you a backstory about this. So there was a bartender named Ted. Company came up to him and said, hey, we wanna promote these peach knobs. You gotta make a drink for us, man, do something. So he did. He created this, give it the name, the sex on the beach. It's kind of the only thing that kind of throws me off for this drink, you know? It's very like, uh, what can I say? It's kind of a douchey title for the drink doesn't do anything for it, but other than that, it doesn't turn me off. You know, if you're more into the sweet side, have a sweet tooth, this is definitely a drink to go to. You know, you might not want to go outside in the sun, get a little tan, it's definitely the drink to go. Look at that. Any lady will want to pick this up. Maybe some gentlemen's too. I sure want to drink it. All right, guys, so now let's move on to the video. You might learn a thing or two, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get started. First things first, like always, we gotta separate our glass and our shaker, bam. And now I do need a little bit of ice in this cup. So there we go, bam. And now we need to add our ingredients to it. So we're gonna add an ounce and a half of Tito's vodka. You can use any type of vodka you like, but I go with this one. There is absolute vodka, there's great goose, but I typically like this one. So that's what I'm gonna go with. An ounce and a half of that. And then we're gonna go with peach snobs. There's a lot of peach snobs out there. I just go with the cheaper one, you know? It was at Fry's, I was getting groceries. Might as well just get this one. So you're gonna need half an ounce of that. And let's put it in there, bam. Now the next thing we're gonna need is some good orange juice. You can go with any type of orange juice. I prefer this with no pulp. You don't wanna get no pulp in your drink. And let's add an ounce and a half of this as well. And now most bars, they're just gonna layer the drink for you. I don't like doing that. I actually like shaking it up. So we're gonna shake up half the drink. And again, we're gonna go for about 10 to 15 shakes. So let's get started. Now we're gonna break this up. And I kind of made a mess of myself a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes this job requires you to get a little bit messy. And all I need is now my cup of ice. And there we have it. And now to straighten this, uh, I did kind of got a little bit messed up last night. You know, I went to this party and I forgot my strainer. But Miguel's got my back. He has one of these. He was just changing his oil the other day. He's like, I didn't use this. So lucky for me, I'm gonna start using this for me to separate the ice from all this stuff, you know? Well, that took a minute, but we're done. We're all set. Boom, we're gonna put that over there. And now the finishing touch with the last ingredient, we're gonna lay some of our freaking cranberry right on top of this, you know, give it that overlay look. You know, bam, just right on top. Give her in that layer. Look at that beauty, how it looks. Bam, looks so nice. That's what I like about the sex on the beach. Gives it that thing. And now we just need a garnish real quick. We are gonna put another cube of ice right on top. Bam, right there. I do wonder where I left that orange. Is it, oh, shit, it's right here, guys. And, you know, always fresh. You gotta have that tag right there. Then we got cutting board ready and stuff. I'm just gonna cut this shit in half real quick. Bam. And now, that's a big ass orange, by the way. <laughs> cut that shit in half. Give it a big old lime wedge in there and stuff. Put it right there in the center. Bam, you don't know my beauty right there. And then let's get a straw. Bam, pop that straw right in there. Then get a little of umbrella. Ah, oh, man. Again, guys, the only thing that kind of throws me off about this drink is the title. That's the only thing, but throw an umbrella in there, set the mood, why not? You're down, I'm down, let's go. Keep a little bit of the tag in there. You know, Miguel says tag is optional, not for me. Keep it right there, bam. Just falling apart. Right there. Listo. And then you have it, guys. The sex on the beach looks pretty nice and everything. Like I said, a lot of restaurants and bars, they like just layering the drink, but I prefer shaking part of it, throwing it in the freaking cup, then just throwing the cranberry on top and just give it that layer. Uh, it all depends on you and depends how much time you want to take. But that's my take on the sex on the beach. And guys, Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want me to bust another drink, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll get to it as soon as possible, right? Thanks a lot and see you in the next one, guys. And a company told him, hey man, you gotta sell as much peace. You gotta sell as much peep. You gotta sell as much peace. Uh, 
You gotta sell as much peach snobs as possible. Okay, let's start all over. This is the perfect drink to go for. Other than the name, of course. But who cares about that? You have this beauty. Look at it. You're gonna get it. Mm-hmm.